Hey everyone, this is Chris, and today we are going to fix your controller for the Hubson Zeno. This is the HT016B, and basically what we're going to do is, if you've done an update, or if for some odd reason, when you power it on and the lights continue to flash, uh, that means you are stuck in the boot sequence. So I'll give you an example. Power it on, these lights flash and they don't stop. They just keep on flashing, constantly keep on flashing. So what should happen is they should go solid. But if they just keep flashing, you're stuck in that boot loop and you need to know how to fix that. So that's what we're going to do here today with a special tool from Hubson. So turn the controller off and you're going to take your uh, USB cable, your micro USB cable, and you want to make sure it's a data transfer cable. And the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need your jumper tool. Hubson sells a jumper tool that you use to jump these pins. If you don't have that tool, there's different things you can do. You can use a PC motherboard jumper or simply like I do. I've used this for firmware updates for the uh, for updating the controller, I've, I've used it. Um, I've worked on several people's quads. I've probably updated it. I, I've up, I know I've updated it with this piece of foil at least 12 times. So I'm using the foil. And what you want to do is you want to jump. You can't see them, but uh, you want to jump the first two pins. And you simply have a piece of foil in there like that. It's wedged between two pins. Any tool you use, as long as you make the connection, will work just fine. Um, there's no tool better than any other tool. It's user preference as far as I'm concerned. Um, this tool works perfectly fine. So we've got our jumper. Now we're going to plug this into the computer or to the controller. So now we're plugged in. And you know you're plugged in when the lights come on. Okay, set it down carefully so you don't mess up your jumper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the computer and we're going to uh, open up the tool and uh, do everything necessary on that end. So now we're going to go to the computer screen. All right, so in the link in the description below this video, the you can download the file that you need or and uh, it'll have within it it'll have the folder that you see right here it's uh, the HT 016 B upgrade tool version 1.1 dash new so double click that and you're gonna see a, a list here you just want to do go to the top folder and you're gonna open that the very first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to the USB driver and you simply just double click it follow the prompts to install it and uh, that then you get the driver uh, for the tool installed on your computer once you've done that you're going to go back to here and you're going to go to the actual upgrade tool itself and then right here is the folder that has the file in it that's the actual file we're going to be uh, installing onto the controller to fix it so I'm going to right click to open up the tool, run as administrator, and click continue. And then what we have here is the actual tool. It looks just like the tool that you use to do the update on the controller itself. You just have a different file in here. Um, everything else looks to be the same. So what you're going to do at this point is power on your controller. You hear the beep. That means we are connected to the computer. Then we're going to go right up here in the upper right hand corner. We're going to click reconnect. And you want to see that turn green. If that does not turn green, you're not going to have a go. So green means go guys. So on the reconnect, we have a green light. You see it says U-boot here in the image name. 
That doesn't mean that <clears throat> you are successfully loaded with the file that you need. You still have to go get the file yourself. So click the folder and go to the U-Boot folder and double click the uboot.bin file and it's here. So it still looks the same but you've just loaded it yourself. So now we're going to click burn. Do you confirm this operation? OK. Does it very quickly and basically it's just it's correcting that that boot loop. So it's already done it, done it very fast. You click OK. Click verify. It verifies OK. So we're done with the tool. We're going to click exit. And then you see here it's got got the information here now. We're going to exit the tool. And then we're going to go back to the controller now. Okay, so from here we are going to turn off the controller, unplug it, pull the jumper. So from here I recommend you go ahead and do the firmware or do the update to the controller which is basically going to be the same process so let's go ahead and just do that real quick that way you have the fix and then that way you make sure you're fully updated and you're in good shape so now we fix the boot loop and now we're going to do the update correctly on the controller so basically you're going to do all the same things you're going to plug your controller into the computer and into the micro usb get the flashing lights we're going to install our high-tech jumper between the first and second jumper same jumpers we've got that in there we're going to set it down and then we're going to go back to the computer screen and we're going to open the tool for that load the file do the update and, and verify the burn so now let's go to the computer screen okay so now we have the folder open that has the file in it to update the controller so we are going to double click the HT016B RP version 016 and then you have your updater tools. There's your USB drivers. And uh, I'm not sure. I think that's the same driver we've already installed. If not, just install it. So now you want to go to the updater itself. Double click that. And then there's the tool. Right click the tool. Run as administrator. Click continue and there's the tool so now you see it's basically the same tool except you see it says the 970 uh, image in there so um, in fact it is the same tool so but we're just using the tool that was within the file of the uh, firmware or the update that we're going to be doing so at this point remember we're plugged into the controller we have our jumper now we just want to turn the controller on and you hear the beep on the computer so you know you're connected there so now we click reconnect until we get a green light okay green light means go there's the image that we're going to be putting in, but we want to go and grab that image ourselves. Double click it. There we have it. So now we're going to click burn. Do you want to confirm this operation? Okay. And it starts out fast and then it goes back and it'll take a little while to update. So when you see that go real fast and stop, that's not an error. It may be the uh, erase sequence, I'm not sure. So it's updating. 
Okay, we're coming towards the end here. And it should say successful. Burn is successful, so we're going to click OK. And then we just want to verify it. It's going to scan through and verify the burn. And all we're doing here is we're confirming that it installed properly. We'll call it an error check, if you will. Okay, and now we're coming towards the end of the verification. It's made it this far, it'll say OK. We click OK. We're going to exit the program. Now we're going to go back to the controller. All right, so on the controller, you just want to turn it off and unhook it. And you want to pull your jumper out. And that's it. So this right here will resolve the problem of being stuck in that boot loop. And then for safety measure, you want to, or just to be on the safe side and sure, you want to re-update the controller. And then you're good to go. You'll be able to connect between your device and the controller. If you can't con connect to the quad from there, then you've made an error uh, either updating your gimbal or your camera firmware. Most likely, uh, most of the mistakes are made when updating the camera firmware. Uh, you didn't format it FAT32. Uh, FAT um, you didn't load the files into the micro SD card properly, something like that. So I'm going to put the update video of how you update the quad. I'll put that in a link in the description. So in the bottom description, you'll have a link for the files to do the U-Boot tool. You'll have the uh, um, link for the um, update to do the whole process of the FC gimbal uh, camera and the controller and I just showed you how to do the controller itself so um, if you need any of the other firmware the most recent up-to-date firmware because uh, as this video gets older the firmware will get newer so if you need the newer firmware just go to the Hubson website I'll put that link in the description as well and then under Xeno you can go find the firmware download it to your computer and install the latest versions so hopefully that helped and uh, don't forget, click that subscribe button, hit the bell for future notification of content. And uh, if you're stuck in that boot sequence, I really hope this helped you out uh, because I know this is a big headache for people. So uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.